Oh my god, you guys, I'm going to unbox my new Van Cleef and Apple purchase with you. I will share all the details about this piece, including the price, and I will talk about really, really important things that you need to know about this piece, and also my thoughts at the end of the video if you are interested in this piece as well. All the timeline and the details will be linked down below in the description box for you and definitely leave me a comment down below to let me know what do you think of my new purchase let's get right into the video so i want to show you what comes with the purchase first and if you watched my recent Van Cleef shopping vlog, you know that I visit Van Cleef Boutique and that they are newly opened in the San Francisco. And I was a little surprised and I know this piece was on my list and this piece just arrived so fast. And then you can see this is another box of chocolate that I have received from Van Cleef. And recently, I just have had too much chocolates from them. I tried on so many beautiful new pieces and I'm just so happy that now we have a finally a corporate Van Cleef boutique in San Francisco that I will have so many more options that I will be able to try and wow mmm it smells so good. I think this is the booklet about their La Maison de Chocolate. It's it's so delicious if you haven't and you have to try these are the different flavors and here is a travel pouch if you see this travel pouch you probably guessed that, that what piece is that because usually this is for the five multi bracelet it's just so easy for storage and traveling too and there's another item is i think this is yeah so this is the receipt and I will show you the price details in the price section of the video. And then it also comes with the Van Cleef uh, booklet and this is the boutique details and this is all the care advice and the service is how you should be caring for different stones and what kind of services that they provide. I already have a dedicated video, Van Cleef buying guide to talk about everything that you need to know for your Van Cleef purchase. I'll definitely leave, leave that video down below in the description box for you to check it out. There are a lot of super important and useful information there if you are considering purchase from this brand. And this is the authenticity certificate from Van Cleef. This side is basically have individual serial number of the piece that I just purchased. And there is also a reference number and also date of purchase. And there is a stamp on there. It said San Francisco Van Cleef and Appels. I'm so excited. <laughs> Another item that, um, it comes from is I was asking them for the jewelry cleaning cloth the Van Cleef one and then they said they are out of stock right now so they give me this white microfiber cloth the sales associate told me that this is like a eyeglass um, cloth so it's really really soft that you could be using it for jewelry if you have any eyeglass cloth and you can use them for cleaning your jewelry pieces as well and that's it from the purchase and then the most important one is here if you remember my sweet ahambar that i purchased online from their e-boutique you probably remember that it came in a giant big box which was really really nice so if you buy it from the boutique you don't get a big box but then the nice thing is you get everything else and you get the experience you get to try on different other beautiful pieces and also you do get their chocolate <laughs> <laughs> That's just a small difference here. So in my VCA's shopping vlog, I tried on a couple of different Phi Motif bracelet and the one is the Phi Diamonds, all diamonds with yellow gold and the one is a mix of Gilshe with the diamond piece and the other one is Grey Mother or Pro with the diamond mix. 
and then there's another piece that has been on my wish list for the longest time i really really wanted to try on last time but they didn't have that piece available and I, that's why i asked you guys did a vote for me in the community page and you can see this is the box how the box looks like and the bottom and if you want to take a last guess pause the video leave me a comment down below and see if you guessed this piece right otherwise after serious consideration and referring to all the votes from you guys and this is the final piece that i purchased for myself as this year's mother's day gift so you ready <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> So this is my vintage Alhambra fine motif bracelet in gill shade and yellow gold that I have been waited for the longest time and it has been on my wish list, luxury wish list for this year as well. And I'm so 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 happy to receive it. It's just so beautiful and so timeless and I you open it up here the bracelet is so timeless so elegant so shiny the picture videos really really don't do its justice and it's just crazy beautiful i just love the four leaf clover design and i firmly believe in the luck it brings me getting this bracelet itself is already super lucky right this is how the bracelet looks on me right now it's quite long which i'll talk a little bit more about the sizing in the next section but then besides the bracelet i'm also gonna wear this as a necklace probably not gonna layer it with all these other pieces but you can imagine right even wearing it as a fine motif necklace it still looks really really pretty so if i resize this bracelet the bracelet will have to take out a lot of links actually i tried on the bracelet the shortest the size that they can do in the boutique but actually it's still quite loose on me and i did a lot of research and investigation on myself and most likely i'm not gonna resize this piece if you are interested in all the tips and tricks on how to resizing, how to wear it easily yourself and how to do this without resizing. Leave me a comment to let me know if you want a video on this. I'll definitely work on it to share everything that you wanted to know. The other thing I want to mention is that I thought before every single piece only has 90 days to do the resizing for free for the very first time, right? But this time my essay told me that I have one year uh, one year's window from the purchase date to decide if I want to resize this piece and I can always go back to that later and which is a good news I guess for most of us because we will have longer window to make the decision. So now let me share with you the price details. Recently that they had a price increase but luckily it only affected the um, this is just some information about some text or something. It only affected a high jewelry, diamond, and some watch pieces, and a vintage Alhambra wasn't affected, which is great. So I was still able to get the piece with the existing same price. But my essay did mention that the price might go up later this year. So just a FYI. And the piece I paid for in the boutique is $5,350 and the tax I paid is $461.44 and the total came out to be $5,811.69. Yep. Oh, there's a back fee for 25 cents. That's why. So one of the major reasons for me to decide on this piece instead of the other diamond pieces that I was seriously considering earlier is because the diamond pieces are like $13,000 above with two, I think with two diamonds. This five motif gilshe is still less than $6,000 and it's gold but it's super shiny if anything it's same shiny as the diamond pieces in the boutique when i look at in between the gill shade and the diamond pieces i compared the two motif in the boutique that was the time i was thinking that this one is a better price versus what you get ratio it's a better deal compared to other diamond pieces of course if i don't have a limit on 
the budget that I could spend, I will get everything. I will get the diamond piece as no brainer. But uh, for me, if I try to get the best price versus what I can get ratio, I think this is the best. The other thing my essay warned me is that she said that I need to be careful with the gill shape piece because if I ever scratch it, it will be really difficult or no way for Van Cleef to recover its original stay because of the design. My sister-in-law has a gill shape uh, bracelet but in the rose gold gill shape with a carnelian mix and she said the gill shape is pretty scratched up when she layered with other pieces. So if you have the five motif gilshay bracelet leave me a comment down below to let me know that if you layer it with other pieces if you will get a lot of scratches otherwise i'm planning to layer it with other pieces either way because i'm just gonna enjoy it let me know if you want a review video after i'm wearing it for some time and i'm definitely happy to share all the wear and tear details with you the other thing that i want to mention is the resizing so now you have one year to resize instead of 90 days which is a longer window and uh, I resized my sweet Alhambra bracelet but I definitely learned a lot during the resizing which I haven't shared with you guys before and uh, there's some stuff that I wish I knew before I resized it and I also did a lot of research on this one so definitely leave me a comment down below to let me know if you want a video on everything that you need to know about the resizing which is really really important I'm happy to work on the video and share all the details that I know with you. I bought this piece as a Mother's Day gift to myself and it's such a great addition to my existing stack. Look at how beautiful they are together and just looking at how timeless, elegant this piece is, it reminded me so much how amazing to be a mom. And I am someone believing so much in the four leaf clover luck thing and I believe this is my lucky bracelet and I think it will bring me so much good luck. I feel I will be able to get a lot of wear out of this piece going forward and it will bring me so much joy and I'm just beyond happy to be able to purchase this piece. So what do you think of my new bracelet? Do you have any questions? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I would love to hear from you and I will see you soon. Bye bye!